Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So let's take a look at what um, I said here about the Ethereum price yesterday and then we're going to take a look at the updated TA and how the chart actually developed. Validated but it became longer in the end yeah so we had a wave A here coming down in a wave B we moved up in a wave C that seems to have peaked already it doesn't necessarily need to have peaked but it looks a bit like that wave C we came we coming down now in a wave D where we can come down as low as yeah pretty much $1,700 yeah we shouldn't drop below that because then it's not a triangle anymore then it would rather indicate if we go below $1,700 that actually the downtrend that I do expect still has already started. And um, however, after the wave D, I would expect a bounce here, move up in a wave E. And if that is a lower high, then we can be quite certain that this will be a triangle. But even then, after the wave E has peaked, we would expect the uh, the wave uh, the, the, the price to exit the triangle to the downside. So Okay, I think that was hopefully clear. And let's take a look what the actually the price did after that video. And yes, the price did come down as expected that the wave C had peaked already and we have come down and we have not gone below $1,700, at least not yet. $1,700 will be very important support here. Um, I personally, at this moment in time, don't think that the move down has finished yet. So I don't think that the wave D of this triangle pattern has finished. So in an Elliott wave triangle, what you have, you have a wave A, you have a wave B, a wave C, a wave D, a wave E. One of these waves is typically a more complex corrective move. Um, the other ones are typically zigzags, so three wave moves. Um, here in this case, it seems like the wave B is the more complex one. We are now in a, in a wave D, which would suggest it's a simple ABC pattern. And we're going to take a look at that in a minute. But so, so for now, this seems to be unfolding yeah, as, as just an Elliott wave triangle. And the current wave count would suggest that we will break out to the triangle to the downside after another recovery move in a wave E um, and in which we will yeah, probably reach this resistance level once more and then come down. Now the wave E can go as high as the wave C. We have to understand that the wave C peaked here at 2014 US dollars. So I'm going to put that dotted line on here. So this will be the invalidation point for the triangle. If we finish this wave D off, uh, yeah, off and we'll then move up in a wave E. To the downside, you will already see here this invalidation point of the triangle at $1,700 because if we go below this, then it is not a triangle anymore. Then it is either an impulse that is already starting its way down. So we start basically the expected move down earlier. Um, or it might be something completely different, but it seems like then for me, the most likely case that it will be an impulse down already. Yeah, if we drop below $1,700. And the reason for that is because the $1,700 level is so important. It is a very, very relevant um, support level. And if we break below this, this would trigger really, really with a high likelihood the move down and that it is an impulse down that we would then finish off the overall correction a bit earlier and we'll not actually finish this ABCDE Correction. So these are the two key scenarios I'm looking at either an impulse down already, but for that we need to break below $1,700 or the triangle ABCDE where after the wave E we will move to the downside. These are the two key scenarios I see here now. There are of course other possibilities that could unfold here, but I mean I could make it a one hour video and tell you about all possible moves. But I think what is important here also to keep it simple is to, to really show you only the key scenarios that I do expect. And for me at the moment, most likely is actually this triangle pattern. And we're going to zoom in now in this wave D, how this is unfolding, yeah? So in this wave D, which is a three wave move. So any a triangle is normally a three, 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 three pattern. Three, 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 yeah. <laughs> so five threes, um, A, B, C, D, E. Each wave has three waves and basically each wave has an A, B, C. Yeah, so um, it is a corrective pattern, the triangle, and therefore we can also assume, or we have to assume, and it's typically the case that the triangle consists of three waves. Yeah, so um, the, each of these waves, I mean, yeah. So here also what we can count this like is generally, um, I don't know why I label it like that, that we, we came down here <clears throat> we came down here in a first move down of this triangle. This is then the wave A. 
we moved up in a wave B of the triangle, no, of the wave D, yeah, of the wave D in the triangle, and we're now in this C wave of the wave D, yeah. So this will finish where also the wave D will finish because the wave D itself consists of three waves A, B, C. So one target for the C wave is the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level of the wave A. Let's take a look at where that would land. So based on that, we've actually already reached that. Yeah, The 1.618 Fib extension is at 1800 US dollars and we have actually come down all the way to the 200% extension at 1762. So based on that, we could even assume that the wave C has finished. But but um, we need also to understand how this wave is currently moving here. Um, and well, if I see this actually, I think I need to, I think we have to probably move this wave A over here. I think we have to move this wave B over here because then we can count a nice impulse down in wave C. A wave C, by the way, is an impulsive move. And yeah, we can count it then as here, the wave one down, then you have an ABC in a wave two. So this is the wave two coming down in normally the longest wave, which is the wave three. We're moving up in a wave four, and that would indicate that we will have one move down in wave five, possibly down to $1,700 to finish that wave D and the wave C off. So this wave four here that you can see on the chart, how high can that retrace and are we maybe already done with this, um, with this one? So let's take a look from the beginning of the wave three to the end of the wave three. And we can see that we already hit the 23.6% FIB level, which is the minimum requirement for a wave four. That is at $1,813. And um, yeah, the most likely one I would expect is 1843, the 38.2% FIB level. And you can see we reached that already with this wick to the upside on the 1st of June at 11 p.m. Uh, UTC. So basically, based on that, we could now assume that the price is going to go down further. That will be confirmed with a very high likelihood below that previous swing low at $1,800. If we break below $1,800, then you can assume that we will also go to 1764. And if we lose that, then we'll probably go down here in a final um, wave five, yeah? This is how I can currently see it. And then we would finish off the wave C in purple and the wave D here in orange. So that will be somewhere down here. I think we'll get closer to the $1,700 level. Um, we can add the VPVR to get some understanding of where we might land actually. So let me add the VPVR here to this chart. And if I zoom in a little bit, maybe uh, I can see a little bit more clarity, but no, this explains why we currently found support here. And based on the VPVR, we wouldn't get more information because the peak is here at around $1,765, $1,770. So no, the VPVR doesn't help us in this case. Um, we then have to assume that in the fifth wave down here to complete the wave C, the wave D, we will come down to at least 700, 1765 possibly lower, but there isn't much more space left. So I think to be honest, the previous low at $1,700 is not unlikely. Bear in mind, if we break that, it will go down much more. Uh, um, because this is a very, very important um, support level. And if I zoom out, you can see that. This is a super, super important support level here in red, highlighted that horizontal support at $1,700. Uh, dollars. If we drop below that, I think I mentioned it before, we could then come down to round about, yeah, 1,500, you know, um, 1,300 maybe, sort of in this range, yeah. And we've got the 200 week moving average, which is currently located at $1,200. So in that region between 1200 and 1500, I would see the overall correction for um, Ethereum currently finished. Now, someone asked me here, the expanded flat that we can see on the chart here, um, which is which is here, wave one to the upside, a wave A down, a wave B to the upside, a wave C down. Wouldn't that land in the end somewhere down here below $1,000, maybe even in the region of $400? I think the question related to a possible price target of the wave A, uh, which is usually with a 1.618 FIP extension. Uh, no, the price target for the wave C would usually be the 100% FIP extension of the wave A. Um, now I get here, if I do this, I get $140. The problem is this is one possible target, but I don't think a very likely one, um, not in these higher level wave degrees usually. So we would then usually take the targets of the lower timeframes and see where the lower level um, waves wh wh where they point us towards. Yeah, but it is an expanded flat pattern. Yeah, we have a wave, a made a wave one up. We came down in a wave A, we moved up in a wave B, we're moving down in wave C now. 
but usually the requirement in an expanded flat you would not normally get that 1.618 FIP extension in a wave C. No, you wouldn't. Um, the only requirement is that you run, that you go below the wave A or at least reach the wave A low, which is at $1,700. So yeah, I still expect further downside for Ethereum here primarily. I still think we will see one more lower low. Um, and I think we are going to break the $1,700 level. We are here in a descending triangle. We are in an Elliott wave triangle that would currently suggest we will break down to the downside. As I said, I always need to mention it because there are new viewers. Theoretically, the low could be in. Yeah, I mentioned that many times before because the target for the overall correction, what I just showed you on the weekly chart, the overall retracement that Ethereum has done is enough to complete this correction. It is enough. It doesn't need to do more. It has fulfilled the minimum requirements for the correction. So theoretically, the low could be in. Please always bear that in mind when you make your own decisions. Um, but my view is the shorter time frame Elliott wave count does not suggest yet that the low is in. Therefore, I still expect a lower price drop. Okay, so that's currently my view about Ethereum. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.